All right, guys, me and Virgil came to check out to see if the double waterfalls was still here. We got some bad news. It is gone. Everything has changed completely down here. There still is a little, there's a thing that comes down as a gradient. Probably drops about four feet, but there's a giant tree right in the middle of the hole, making it almost impossible to fish it. Got one on the first throw. All right, there's fish in it though, guys. I just missed one. It's pretty deep up here. Definitely not shallow. You can like pitch it into the tree and that's about all you can do. <laughs> Got him. Hey, there's still fish here though, man. Large mouth. All right, guys, I got my first large mouth bass. Virgil caught a fish on the first throw. I caught him on a five inch white Yakamato grub with a half ounce white jig head strike king. Not terrible. He'll do, because we drove all the way here. I'm really disappointed right now. I'm gonna really miss the double waterfalls, man. It just eroded away, I guess. Yeah, about 11. Big fish. Inside this little waterfall. Oh yeah. Oh man, I got a nice one. Oh, oh man. There we go. God. Now that's actually decent. I'm glad I got 14 pound line on. I can just lift them up. Look at that one. Fat. Fat old spotted bass, guys. Oh my God. Man, this hook is very durable, but he about tore my grub up already. I can use it one more fish. I'm not buying these no more. Cheap ass grubs. That's ridiculous. There went a gar. Man, a minnow and bobber right here, seriously. All right guys, nice little spotted. About 12 inches. I want to put them loose somewhere else, but it's impossible. Oh man, I got a big one again. Oh God, yeah. Large mouth. All right. No, it's a spotted. Another spotted. Another spotted. Man, it ain't that bad. Catching them. Another 12 incher. And my grub is ruined. He ruined it. I'm going to have to put a missile on now. Alright guys. Not too bad.
Got him. Yeah, guys, this is a three pounder or bigger. Oh my God. Holy cow, man. Virgil. Got a giant, man. Holy cow. Man. Whew, he's pushing three pounds anyway, guys. Oh my. Now that's a spotted bass. I'm going to go show Virgil this fish here in a second. As soon as I show you guys. What a spot. That's not bad. Okay, he's not threes, two, though. Not bad. About two pounds, anyway. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now that is a three pound spot. Holy crap, man. Oh. oh. Now that is a three pound spot. There went my swim bait already. My God, they're tearing them up. Yeah, he's 15 inches. Dude. Three pounder. Three pounder. Oh my goodness. So Virgil, this one, I'll just have him film me. Oh my goodness. Huh. A freaking gutter coming in? Dude, this is weird. I can't believe how much it's changed in one year. Oh my God, I'm gonna have you. He's probably damn near three pounds anyway. That's big for a spot. Guys, I've caught four big ones now. And I've already, I'm already on my fourth soft plastic, four fish. They keep ruining my, keep ripping my freaking swim baits, man. Well, how they're tearing them up so easy. He's probably 15, 14, 15. Man. Not bad, guys. I'll take him all day. That's a big old spot, man. So this kind of, I wonder if it's the same up there. There was rapids down there. I don't know. Kind of hard to cross now, though. Except right there, you can kind of do it. But Guys, it's just unbelievable how many big fish are in this little tiny pothole. It's probably two or three foot deep and 12 foot long. It's just ungodly believable. I bet there's something above it, too. I mean, this is nuts. Got another one. It's as soon as your lure hits the water, guy. Oh my God. Every cast. Man. Uh-uh. Really? Huh. All right, guys, this one's about 12. Probably right at a pound. 
maybe a pound and a quarter. Not a bad fish either way. These are almost all spotted. Got the one large mouth. I've already caught six. Oh yeah, still in here, still in here, oh God, they're still in there, my goodness, right when I said I think I scared them all or caught them all, I'm still pulling them out guys, that is seven fish from one little tiny spot, nothing but a little 10 foot puddle, every one of them 12 and bigger, a couple of them 2 pounds, 3 pounds, Oh my. Now they're becoming less and less because I'm throwing them back in a different spot too. But that's to keep them from telling their buddy. Another spot. Probably about 13. Beautiful. Oh. What was that? Pretty decent one, man. Spotted or large mouth? Spotted. Yeah, that's a nice one, though. Yeah, what the hell happened? I'm going to get a good pick of you anyway. It's a decent fish. Virgil got his first big uh, fish of the day. It's a nice, nice spotted bass pushing two pounds probably. It's got something wrong with its tail. It's the sun. Yeah, I'm going to be better off going like this. I'll get one of you too. That's a nice spotted man. It's still good here at least, right? Heck yeah, man. That's pretty nice actually. Man. I caught all of them I could at that little waterfall. <laughs> I fished it out. They were all nice. It's a shame that waterfall was right here, man. There's... Oh my God! Holy cow, man! Oh my God! What do I got? <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Holy cow! <laughs> Gar, it's like three foot long though, like the one I caught at Foshi. Oh. I need my gloves really bad. No, I tell you what, I can grab his bill. All right, guys, this thing, it's easily 40. He's 42 around that. It's another 42 incher, man.
crap, I'm saying I just sunk up to my knees in mud. God damn it. Oh my god. <sighs> Holy cow, man. That thing's got to be 40 something. Oh my gosh. Dude. Easily 40. Guys, we're going to measure this beast. Easily 40 something inches. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, man. This might beat the one from Foshi. He might be 50 damn in. This is a giant for in here, man. Uh, 43. I beat it by one inch. 43 inches. <laughs> What a nice long nose, guys. My God, 42 inches in a tiny creek. I did not think. I can't feel myself holding something this big. 43 inches, I beat my Foshi River one by one inch. Guys, 42 inch long nose gar on a six cents. Crankbait looks like he's been spawning. He's got the beat up tail. Is it, is it cutting off or am I about right? You're good. Just perfect. Gosh. You can have it. Guys, I'm lucky this didn't get off. No dip net. Sunk up in the mud up to my damn knees just to get this fish. I guess it was worth it though. 43 inch. That's rare for a creek this tiny, man. That's something I'd get at the Walker Fellow Spillway, maybe. God. All right, guys, I'm going to get her back. Maybe we'll catch her again some other day. Is there a way we can show her, like, coming off? All right, guys, she's going to go bye bye. No problem. I bet I don't catch anything over there now. <laughs> Jumped like 10 times. Oh, God. All right, guys. Sadly, I just lost a five pound bass. I had him halfway in. I threw it right back and ended up getting a little guy. I don't think he's gonna bite again because I had him hooked for at least five seconds. It broke my heart. That would have made my day an excellent day just getting that one fish. It was a big five pound large mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. Well, that guys, this ends our day. Had a good day. Disappointment of the waterfalls being gone and losing the five pound bass at the very end. But other than that, I still had a good day. Until next time, hit that like button and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Help me out. All right, until the next video, take care guys.